Worried about cable signal loss? The Peplink Antenna Max might be your solution. Hi, this is Andy from the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and this is a first look at the Antenna Max by Peplink. And this is a 4x4 MIMO antenna, dome style antenna, and it's uh, comparable to the Mobility 42G, which I have here. You can see it's, it's a little bit larger, but what's missing is there's no antenna cables that, that are coming out of it. And that's because this also is a housing for a cellular embedded router. And the cellular embedded routers would get mounted right here. And currently, Peplink has designed this for the uh, BR1 mini series cellular routers, the Transit Duo Pro, and the BR1 Pro 5G. So, why would you want to? mount your router inside of your antenna housing. And there's really two big advantages. And um, the first one is the actual cables. And there's two things about the cables. One, when we take a look at uh, the Mobility 42G, you can see here that you have uh, your four cellular cables, you have a couple of Wi-Fi uh, cables, and you also have your GPS cable. And this is a 4x4 Nemo antenna. Uh, some of the antennas that I work with are also are, are 8x8 Nemo antennas. So they can have a dozen or more cables uh, of higher quality or thicker um, wires that are coming out of this antenna that has to pass through your roof and get routed into your, um, into your tech bay. So that can really be um, a challenge. In addition, we have... Um, cable loss and uh, there's a couple of things with your cable loss the longer the cable uh, the more loss that you're going to have inherently but the other thing is is that um, the cellular spectrum is continuing to expand um, so we have our, our low free low band frequencies the band 71 the 600 to about a thousand megahertz um, cellular spectrum and these are your long range uh, bands that can propagate a long distance they uh, are not impeded by uh, obstructions and the like. The, the problem with those signals are is that, or the disadvantage, is that they don't have uh, the, the, the transfer rate, the data transfer rate on those are slower. As you go up in the frequencies, you get faster transmission of data, but you also get um, the signals are also impeded by obstructions and they don't propagate as far. The same thing happens on these cables. So a 600 megahertz um, or your low uh, band frequencies be able to tra transmit quite readily on, um, on a cellular cable. But as you go up in the frequencies, uh, they don't transmit as well on, on the cables. And so as we continue to expand our, our cellular spectrum into higher and higher frequencies, it's important to, to keep your cables as short as possible. So mounting the, the router directly into the antenna housing um, gives us uh, um, one of the best, better advantages of, of reducing the signal loss. So the other, um, the other advantage with this solution is that um, the only thing that you need to send up to, to, the, to the housing is power and, uh, and potentially a digital signal. And so either an Ethernet cable um, and power cables can be um, routed up through the, the center housing, or there's also um, some glands that, can be, that, that those can pass through, depending on your mounting solution. And the Peplink um, kit here comes with um, a pole mount solution and also um, uh, a 3M tape or um, a roof mount. Uh, roof mount solution. So some disadvantages with, uh, with this antenna uh, housing is that currently it's only designed for Peplink routers. Um, and uh, uh, that can both be an advantage and disadvantage. Some of the other antenna manufacturers that I've, that I've uh, looked into that also have uh, uh, the option to add a cellular router into it, 
Um, they either don't have a solution, so it's up to you to find one, or uh, the cellular router that they're targeting is of a, a, a low um, category, like a category six um, uh, cellular router. So you don't have um, the performance in the modem um, to get you that, that high throughput. Another disadvantage of this solution is that if you often are switching physical swim, SIM cards um, to switch different plans, uh, it does require you to go up onto your roof and uh, to disassemble um, your, your housing to be able to get into uh, the router to change the SIM card. So I'm going to be taking a look at this antenna. Um, I'll be specifically looking at comparing it to the Mobility 42G. Um, I expect the performance to be uh, of these antennas to be very similar. And I'm curious to see that um, if the shorter cables here um, will have a significant impact on the higher frequency uh, uh, bands. So consider joining us at the Mobile Internet Resource Center where I'll share uh, with our members that data and also provide an inside look at the cellular antennas. Thank you. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.